Hi everybody. Here's a video on how fast this is the world breaker as far as uh, inf reinfecting a computer. This is a laptop. We did a, a fresh Windows install, which means um, pretty much starting from scratch. Customer picked it up yesterday at 11:22. This is the receipt. Let's see if I can show you this. Can you see that? Customer picked it up 4, 6, 11, 22 a.m. Okay. So that's going to make some sense now in a minute. So he brings it in today. He tells me, hey, something's wrong with this Windows. I'm getting this error on the startup, etc. So we take a look. Luckily, you know, this error is giving us some information to go to. Sometimes you just get a crazy error. You, you know, it's hard to follow. So if we see here, it's just saying that uh, it's looking for this file and it can find it. So we're going to go to that folder, uh, Program Files, User Extension Client, exe, and I got it open here. So you see up here, Program Files, User Extension, and we look at the, the file date on that, 4-6, which is yesterday, 3 o'clock. We said he picked it up 11-22, so that's what, 12-1-2, didn't make it three hours. Actually, I'm sorry, um, yeah, just barely over three hours. He's already got an infection on his computer. Now, of course... He himself says, I haven't done anything, I haven't gone anywhere, I haven't, you know, of course, the usual. Well, I mean, it's not that they do it on purpose, but people really don't know how they get this stuff. So I notice immediately, uh, at least here on this desktop, all these other icons are pretty standard, That what we do here. Um, but I see Picasso there, so he went online and downloaded something, installed something. Not that the Picasso was malicious, but apparently something that he attached, I also see a Microsoft Work shortcut. One of those two are... Or, or both, what have you, um, were infected when he did this installation. So to go even further, we're going to open up Kapersky because this is basically telling us that this file client is not available, which it wasn't in that folder. We go to Kapersky, and this is just to show, and, and it's very easy for me to show the client what happened. So many times uh, they want to put the blame on the tech. You know, they're going to say it's a misinstallation, something's wrong. So if we go here... This is the, the Kapersky quarantine. This is the folder it's looking for, client exe. So already from yesterday to today, uh, from yesterday till 3 o'clock, et cetera, we have um, actually started at 141. So, wow, you need to make it two hours before you got this client exe in here. So all these things are already, uh, here's an actual Trojan, the others are junkware. Um, I had already cleaned up his browser, because um, that's the other telltale sign, is his browser was already hijacked. Um, I already cleaned that up, I took care of that, so you're going to see it here, uh, normal on the Google page. But it had already been hijacked. So what's the point of this video? That surfing the web is basically a minefield of contaminations even if you're downloading programs that you're familiar with like in this case Picasa where are you getting it from make sure you go directly to the manufacturer or the, the provider's uh, website directly don't get it from a third party because it's going to be attached and then of course I have to add in that the real solution to this is to not use Windows on the internet you heard me right do not use Windows on the internet what are you going to use virusproofcomputer.com that's what you're going to use you're going to have a dual boot operating system what does that mean that you got two systems you got windows because yes there's a lot of programs you're going to need windows for but you don't need windows for the internet so just like you have a pair of running shoes and you have a pair of dancing shoes and maybe you got a pair of dress shoes you have two options to go online and you have a third i mean you have your your, your phone as well so that's basically the point here. This person broke the record, got infected within three hours. Luckily, he had a Kapersky, gave him a little bit of backup, and basically quarantined those, but now he gets this little error. So we're going to clean it up for him. Um, this is good for me because I can show him exactly what happened, and uh, he has to repay for another cleaning. So the other part about having a, a Windows computer is it can get expensive if you don't know what you're doing. Constantly cleaning it up, junking it up, cleaning it up, and junking it up. So once again, my recommendation, stay off the internet on Windows. Go with virusproofcomputer.com.